this was a thrift shop find and it's perfectly good like it is if your color scheme was white and blue i really like it actually i love the design in the center however these colors do not work for my house so i'm going to change it up a little bit we're going to use some rust-oleum spray colors here i paid 5.99 for this my intentions are to put it in the front porch area this is the color we're going to use i've never used this one before so let's just see how this works out Okay, so there was a turn of events for this piece. I'm not gonna lie. As you can see, you can see some of the blue peeking through. Now, when I took the blue masking tape off after um, painting, it left a sticky residue. So I thought to myself, well, let me go get some Goo Gone and I'll remove it. And as I removed it, it removed some of the copper paint underneath. And my immediate reaction was, no! I've got to respray it copper again. But as I looked at it, I actually really liked the blue coming through. So I took some more off and this is the end result. And it matches perfectly with my rafters up there. So project completed, project happy. Okay, this is my next project now. I have just washed this down. I've now sat it in the sun to dry. The sun is now coming up. It's about seven o'clock in the morning now. I've already started working on this project over here. I um, have to work on it this early in the morning just because it heats up so much and uh, becomes unbearable. So um, yeah, letting that dry. And then as soon as it dries, we're gonna give it a refresh because I've had it a few years now and it's started to fade. It was quite a vibrant color, but now it's gone a really pale color. So it just needs a quick little freshen up. Guys, I've run out of paint, so I thought it would have been enough. One can to do a coat on the car and two coats on the frame that I've been doing. But alas, no, I've run out, so I'm going to have to pop to Home Depot. I've got changed into a, a cleaner t-shirt. Um, so I'm going to pop to Hop, Hop Dino. Hop Dino, Hop Dino, no, no. Home Depot and go buy another can. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they've got another can because... Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. So Home Depot did have another can and it's called Kona Brown and it is glossy and it covers wood, metal and plastic. So, oh, and more apparently. I don't know what the more is, but anyway, I'm happy they did have another can. Okay, this is the next project and this is a tray that I found in a thrift haul that I did a while back now. It's been sitting in my garage and I knew that I was going to get to it eventually. So today is the day. We are going to spray this um, all over. The underside's black so I'm not going to do that. I did just give this a wash. Um, I paid $6 for this. Um, let me turn it over actually and let that side dry um, and then we're going to give it a quick spray. Okay, so this is just a teeny bit tacky, which I think is a good thing because I'm gonna lay this stencil on top. I've never used a stencil with a spray before. I've always used it with um, paint. So I don't know if this is gonna leak and like be really blotchy, 
but um, yeah, it's just a teeny bit tacky. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can, if the video is picking up, but um, there is a raised edge of where that painting was, but hopefully this will kind of diffuse that and cover it up. So this should fit just right. Maybe I need to cut the corners off real, just a little bit. 